Hello there, today we are using Quest. Quest is a system where you can create your own interactive adventure game. You start Quest by clicking on Start, and then you can search in here for Quest, and it should come up right at the top there. You can click on it, and you will see this screen here. You have two choices to play. If you need to get familiar with it, you can play this game here, Escape from the Forbidden City. Or we can create a game, which is what we're going to do today. So, I click on create a new game, and we're going to select text adventure. Game books you can have a play with in your own time if you like, uh, but text adventures are a little bit more complex and interesting. So, I'm going to call this uh, the school. Just like that. Okay. And Quest will take a little time to load up and create the game. And once it's done, we can start to actually add things. So the two buttons we're most concerned with at the beginning are the Add Room and Add Object button. So we have a room here, and it's called Room. I'm just going to change that and call it Cell, because I want my story to start in a cell. And I can add other rooms as well. So I'm going to add a Throne Room. And I'm going to add a chapel and I'm also going to add a hallway okay so at the moment when we run our game it will start off in the cell that is because the player is currently located in the cell so if I click on play it will load up my game and it will start off with very simply telling me where I am. Now this isn't going to be a very exciting game at the moment, but we will work on that. There we are, the school. You are in a cell. That's a good start, isn't it? So, I stop the game, and first thing I want to do is I want to be able to link these rooms together. So I'm going to go to the hallway, and I'm going to click on the Exits tab here. And here you can see all the different exit directions. So I'm going to set, create an exit to the north. So I click on the north arrow and I say I'm going to go north to the cell. And I also want it to create an exit from the cell back to the hall. So hall to cell, cell to hall. Create exit. Done. And if we go east, I'm going to create an exit to the throne room. And let's click on south, and I'm going to create an exit to the chapel. Simple as that. Now when I play the game, I'm going to start off in the cell, and it says you can go south. So I can either click on the link here, or I can type in go south. And it says you're in a hallway. You can go north, north, east, or south. If you don't want to type in the full thing, go south, you can just type in E or W for west and so on. So you can see we're already starting to get to our game. Now, at the moment, there's not much description in here. So if I click on the cell and click on the room tab, I can add in some description text, just like this. So I can say the cell is bare... And there is a bed in the corner and a bucket under the window. Excuse my typing, it's too early in the morning. So, I've created that and then in the hallway I can say uh, this is a long thin hallway. Now when I play the game, you can see the effect. It's putting in the text here, and when I go south into the hallway, it says this is a long thin hallway. If I go north again, it tells me what the cell is like. In my cell, I can also set up objects. So I can add an object, which is a bed. Okay, like that, and that will add the bed. And I can add another object, which is going to be the bucket. 
Okay. Now, the thing is, we want to be able to look at these objects, and so we need to come down here on the bucket, and I'm going to put some text in there. What a smell. There we are. And so now, if I play my game, you're in a cell, you can see a bed and a bucket, the cell is bare and there's a bed in the corner and a bucket under the window. And if I type in, look at bucket, there we are. It's doing what I said it would do. So that's enough to be getting on with for now. We want to create lots of rooms, lots of objects, all of which have a nice long description, practicing our English, of course. In the next video, what we'll look at is adding some interactivity to our game, so adding some scripts to make things act differently. I'll see you the next time.